the elite class was sort of panicking, you know, after Seattle especially. So they, they sort of were looking for for the reason. And the, the only name you can point up was John Sesson. If you're looking for a mind behind the movement, it's definitely John Searsan. He has written this one book, basically saying that in order to save the world, we have to go back to Stone Age. And the way to 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 get there is to destroy um, the industries and everything. I find it kind of curious or strange that I've been called the uh, architect of the tactic of property damage or the black block kind of activity. That certainly isn't true. Seussan lives a very, very modest life. And for example, for, for a long time, his only income, he was making money by giving his own blood. We're trying to encourage the questioning, just the questioning. Why do people go out there and try to uh, protest or try to, you know, do something? That isn't mindless violence. The mindlessness is sitting there uh, doing dope watching MTV, and then you go and get a job and you just schlep along. And that's, to me, that's violent. There's more and more signs everywhere that the life of consumerism is really not a satisfying life. existence, a career, all the promises of uh, material well-being are rather empty. And I think for quite a few people, they certainly understand that emptiness and the, the severe limits on fulfillment and freedom. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. Otherwise, people would, well, I'm just going to get a good job. It's, I'll be happy. Uh, well, who's happy?